ഹായ് ഫ്രണ്ട്സ് വെൽക്കം ടു എസ് ജി കെ ഇംഗ്ലീഷ് ഫോർ എ ന്യൂ വീഡിയോ ഐൽസ് പ്രിപ്പറേഷൻ എപ്പിസോഡ് ഫോർട്ടീൻ ഐ ഹോപ്പ് യു ഹാവ് വാച്ച് ദ പ്രീവിയസ് വീഡിയോസ് ഇഫ് നോട്ട് ഐ റിക്വസ്റ്റ് യു ഓൾ ടു വാച്ച് ദം ഓക്കെ ഇൻ ദിസ് ലെസൺ ടുഡേ വി ഡിസ്കസ് വി കണ്ടിന്യൂ വിത്ത് റീഡിംഗ് മൊഡ്യൂൾ ഐൽസ് റീഡിംഗ് see we are discussing true false not given same topic you are continuing so how to get a band score 9 i suggest 10 tips for i mean getting band score 9 in reading module so what all are the important things to be taken care of uh, and i have some uh, very important tips uh, to suggest okay uh, let us see let us go directly into the class but in the meanwhile i request you to subscribe if you have not and enable the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you okay the first point i want to bring to your notice spend enough time analyzing the statements so passage is given statements are given don't at a glance find the answer don't find the answer at a glance just to go through it with your mind open and analyze and understand the correct meaning of it so you may find i mean a line and you may find the statement and all at a glance you find that answer and you check oh, it is right it is wrong a true false a is no don't go into conclusions immediately just analyze it spend enough time the more time you spend more likely that you get the correct answer just by seeing if you're answering your answer may go wrong spend enough time i repeat enough time it should not be too much also why because time management is the most important thing in the reading module yes time management is very important but you should spend enough time otherwise you may write all those things but many will be wrong okay now so analyze the statement and understand the correct meaning of it without that don't come to conclusions okay now the more time you spend more likely that you make the correct answer that is the first point uh, number 2 you are not trying to match i mean i mean the, the statement uh, ma- oh, sorry match the words you must to match the meaning so you are not trying to match the words so if you find we have practiced in the last video see some words are very similar to the next one okay na so whether to find a true false a is o oh, no or not given so don't compare the words but you must be finding what is matching with the meaning okay na the entire sentence conveys uh, one idea that should be matching with the other one then only you can find you can say it is true or false i is or no don't compare with the words but with the, the entire sentence so you are not trying to match the words you must match the meaning of the entire sentence statement see is a continuation of what we had practiced we have been practicing in the last few videos and that is why the passage is not here after watching that only you can understand this okay the difference between uh, true false yes no yes or no we have found is not so do you remember that if only you remember that you will be able to understand this okay now yes so uh, you have to find what is matching not with the words but with the entire sentence okay now next when you look at a statement think of possible paraphrases yes when i when you look at a statement think of possible paraphrases in your mind try to paraphrase them ah uh, what is given the other one okay now when you compare two sentences try to paraphrase and find out what is me which is matching whether the meaning is exactly accurate okay now yes try to is a paraphrase very important the entire ielts examine ielts test is in heavy paraphrasing okay now 
So find the exact meaning, word meaning, synonyms, vocabulary, all these things very important. You must prepare yourself, paraphrasing. So try to paraphrase the statement and find out where it is matching with the entire sentence. Number four, find the common traps. Uh, some traps and pitfalls might be there. For example, uh, comparison. Suppose more is used, degrees of comparison, uh, comparative degree. Same thing must be there. Meaning should be same with the comparison. Okay, comparative degree. So superlative is given, it should be same. Okay, now. So that's a trap in a way. So one thing is a, a comparative degree, other one is a, maybe positive. It won't match. Okay, now. Same thing should be followed in meaning, not word by word. Even if you are trying to paraphrase, the entire sentence should be same as. Okay, now. So try to find possible traps. There will be many traps for you. Uh, some twist, maybe there's some meaning, maybe there's some words, for example. Number one, comparison. See, more, less, most. Or all. Suppose all is given, same thing should be there. Okay, now. Uh, or same uh, majority. Okay, we practice two, three examples. Do you remember that? Uh, you must remember it. It's a continuation of that. So what is given? Same should be there. Okay, now. Yes. Next. Uh, I mean, same technique for true, false or yes or no. Technique is same. Okay, now. Both technique same. Uh, one is, uh, I mean, um, opinion. Okay, now. Other one is uh, factual information. Okay, now, yes, one is factual information, other one is, uh, I mean, writer's opinion. Okay, so the technique to find out the answer, true, false, or is, no, same, both same. Uh, next, answers would come in order. That is very important now. Answers will be coming in order. What does it mean? It means that suppose if you are searching for the answer number 5, it will be between 4 and 6. Suppose, uh, I mean, uh, I mean, uh, not given, if you find that uh, the exact answer is not given, don't read the entire passage to find the answer from start to end. If you are trying to find the answer of question number 5, it will be between 4 and 6. If you are trying to find the answer number 3, it will be between uh, 2 and 4. So, right, read only that much part. So, because answers uh, come in order. Yes, answers come in order. Don't forget that. Otherwise, your time will be lost. You can save a good amount of time by keeping that. Okay, now. Yes. So, in between, where you are finding the answer. Okay. So, and another, one more is there. See, keep your eye on the next question. Even, if, even when you are finding the answer of question number 4, just to read question number 5. Okay, now. Yes, then you will have that idea in your mind. Then you can find it. As soon as you find question number 4, there you can mark it, then go on to question number 5. You must have that question number 5 also in your mind. Then suppose question number, you are searching for question number 4, is not found, and you find question number 5, which means question number 4 is missing. I mean, uh, then you can uh, once check that paragraph once again, you see, and you can uh, write the answer not given. Okay, so for that you must have a next question also in your mind. So repeat once again, answers come in order in order. Okay, now come in order. Make sure that you don't go on reading and uh, searching for, I mean, not given answer, the entire passage, spending so much time, a lot of time. Don't do that. Okay, now because answers come in what in order they are given. As they are given in order, you should search in between. Previous and next one. Okay, now? Yes, remember, answers come in order. And next, keep an eye on the next question too. While you are trying to find the answer of question number 3, just have your, in your mind what is the next question, question number 4. Then you can very easily understand whether it is not given or not. Okay, now? Yes, if you find a clue to that answer, you mark it there. Once again, check that and make sure whether it is a true, false, yes, or, yes, no, or not given. Okay, now, is it clear to you? Okay. Now, tip number eight. Remember the meaning of false or no. Don't mix up 
between force and no and at the same time what is meant by force or what is meant by no it does not mean information does not match force means it doesn't mean that information does not match but the information is opposite or it is contradictory because it does not match you cannot say it is false or it is no but you have to find out whether it is a opposite or con it contradicts or it is contradictory if only it is opposite or if it contradicts only that you can say it is false or no because it does not match you cannot say it as a false or no is it clear to you it is very important thing okay now we have seen the last video also so because a statement does not i mean match we cannot say it is false if you are to say it is false it should be opposite or contradictory only then you can say i mean it is false or it is no uh, point number 9 write the correct answer if the statement is false i mean true you cannot say yes if the statement is false you cannot say no correct true means true you have to write i don't write yes instead of that I mean, yes means you are right. Yes, not true. Same way, if it is false, don't write no. You won't be given a mark. Can I tell you, mark uh, wrong? So, exact answer must be written. So, difference between a uh, true, I mean, uh, true, false, yes, no. We have seen in the last, uh, I mean, video. What is that? Uh, this is uh, factual information, true or false. Whereas uh, this is a writer's opinion, yes or no. Yes, no is a writer's opinion, whereas true or false is factual information. Okay, see that video once again. I think you know it, you may remember it. Okay, now, it's a continuation of that. Uh, last, but not the least. Though you can write T for true, you can write T instead of true. You can write, mark will be given also. Uh, and f for false it is better to write full don't take the risk and write fast enough i uh, simply a t or a f because your handwriting may not be uh, good enough as you are writing so fast uh, it is risky sometimes uh, you may be rejected the mark also sometimes but generally if you write t for true mark will be given for the examination point of view but it is risky and write full true or false these are the 10 points i want to bring your notice or tips i want i mean uh, share with you okay now so that you can get a band score 9 for your uh, reading uh, module i hope it is clear to you thank you for watching for more updates subscribe to the channel sgk english goodbye